like a lot of movement because I don't have sleeves because it's warm. Ceviche weather. This leche de tigre, milk of tiger. What is that, a Papa Murphy's pizza? Yes, it is. Ah, to mix it hot. Everybody, welcome to episode ceviche of Wild at Home. We're gonna dive into what I think is hands down the easiest recipe we've done, and I've said that, but I truly mean it now. Ceviche is so incredibly simple, and the beauty and the perfection is in the simplicity, I think. So there's really five components of ceviche. It's fish, which has to be the absolute most premium you can get. It is limes, which are just as important as the fish. Salt, pepper, and onion. And we're gonna riff on that a little bit, throw some things in that are probably familiar to you. The fish that work best with ceviche are these large muscled fish like halibut, yellow eye, which is the two that we're using today, yellow eye and halibut. Let's just jump into it and I'll talk more as we get going. Let's get our fish chopped up. With ceviche, you're gonna go against the grain you can see the grain here, just like if you would be cutting a steak. A little smaller than bite size is what I prefer. Uh, now we're gonna do little chops. Ceviche translates to leche de tigre. So tiger's milk is what this beautiful dish is called. I'll name my firstborn son leche de tigre. Be a cage fighter in Madrid somewhere. I'm gonna throw just a pinch of salt to bring some stuff up. Gently, gently, so you're not mushing that and you're not making guacamole here. The notes are saying, you're awesome. Don't change a thing about you. Oh, thank you. Here's my third trick. I don't know what number we're on. Um, this onion is actually about this big. And you can use shallots. If you have shallots or shallot, shallots, I don't know, shallots. Um, use those as well, but peel off that first first or second layer of the shallot or the red onion and you're gonna get a nice sweet core. Acid is a really primitive way to cook your fish. And so what happens is when you're putting it in an acid solution, um, that acid being a gentle lime and orange juice, it loosens the bonds between the fibers of the fish and it becomes more tender than say a rare fish would, but it doesn't flake like it would if you're cooking the fish with heat. So it's this really beautiful, delicate middle ground. This is easy, guys. This is quick. We're going to be done in about three more minutes. You have to cook this fish. So, right, we're, we're actually doing an acid cook. My cooking times for ceviche. I go raw, medium, and well. The reason they call it tiger's milk is that once this acid hits this white flesh, it turns to this white, opaque color. So we're going to pop this back in the fridge and we'll let it cook. Right, let's come back in 25 minutes and set our alarm. I'm gonna sit on that porch. I'm gonna let the sun bake on me and I'm gonna eat this cold ceviche and pretend that the world is not on fire. Right? Right. You can see how it is gotten this milky white. So that's that kind of chemical reaction between the fish and the acid. So then we're going to add this in. I'm really light on my salt when I do this recipe until the very end. So again, don't over mix it or it's going to turn into guacamole. If sushi is the Batman of raw fish, then ceviche is like it's Robin, it's sidekick. Um, I think it's, you know, it's bright, um, it is balanced, and I think it's a little underrated, just like Robin. I still prefer that now. But ceviche, I love. We have pulled off what I believe to be the most important technique around raw fish that there is, and that's the acid cooking. Its beauty is in the simplicity, but it can be as complex as you want. The mango balances the acid perfectly. When you add some avocado to it, the smoothness of the avocado versus the firm tenderness, the balance of that fish, it's perfect. 
and then the acid and the salt is really where you can play around as a, as a cook at home. Um, again, those five tenets, salt, lime juice, pepper, fish, and popsicles. Popsicles are great in the summer. Ceviche is great in the summer. This is a summer food. Thanks to our fishermen out there who are working hard, catching this incredible halibut and our yellow eye, our lingcod, one by one and we're bringing them in and we're bringing them to you. Thanks to our members out there for supporting our company, for supporting this movement of community supported fisheries and small boat fishermen. If you don't know much about us, go to sickofsalmonshares.com, explore what we are doing, who our fishermen are, how to get our fish. There's a code, $25 off. It's called Wild Home, that's your code. Again, you guys, I don't know what we're gonna do next week. We will figure it out together, like we always do. I'm gonna go sit on my porch, I have a nice beer, some ceviche. Can I come out with you? Yes, you can. Sugar. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Stay wild. Uh -huh.